Hello, hello. Hope people are doing well today. So, um, I originally had scheduled this stream for a little bit of Guild Wars 2, but then I had a few issues. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm in the I'm in I'm in the middle of uh, eating dinner, so I'm quite hungry. So apologies for that. But yeah, I originally had scheduled this stream for a little bit of Guild Wars, but what essentially happened was that I had I had a few issues with regards to my account, and even though I know that they should be resolved, if not today, sometime soon, you know, it sort of put me out of the mood, right? It put me out of the mood because I had, you know, some setups that I still wanted to do in Guild Wars 2 uh, before I started my stream today, and I didn't have the time. And I did not have the time. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to continue with our Immortals Phoenix Rising playthrough. And this game is an action adventure um, in the vein of something like Breath of the Wild or maybe even uh, Genshin Impact potentially. But no gacha. In instead of anime waifus and husbandos uh, and gacha, what we have instead is cool Greek mythological lore. And so, I don't know. You know, I, I enjoy the whole aesthetic a lot. You know, it has like the whole kind of pastel look. It's got the kind of cartoonish look, right? And it's got the massive draw distances. It's got the massive draw distances, which just leads to some really impressive landscapes that don't, you know, tax the uh, tax the GPU a whole lot. And so, like, it, it kind of looks like a, an outdated game graphically, but I I firmly believe that games like this, you know, they, they, they need to be continued. You, you need to have more games like this on the market, to be quite honest, because if we take a look at the success of Genshin Impact, if we take a look at the success of Breath of the... Oh, shit. Uh, if we take a look at the success of Breath of the Wild, we can clearly see that there is a market for games such as this, right? We can clearly, clearly see that there is uh, plenty of space in the market, and unfortunately... It doesn't seem like it's been uh, too well serviced. Ah. What? I dodged that one. I dodged that one. one. Alright, come on. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, I thought I dodged that third one. That's fine. That's fine. I dodged the third one, but that's all right. Man, his corpse goes flying quite heavily. Anyway, anyway, as I was saying, uh, I do believe... Let me go, we can eat that up and then get our health back to full. I do believe that there is more space in the market for games such as these. You know, that are not clearly... They're like, you know, action, adventure type games. Because too often, right? Too often we see games of this vein that have the open world, that have these sorts of mechanics, that have the puzzles and all of that sort of thing. They get too bogged down with trying to implement uh, RPG mechanics. And so, I, I understand the reason, right? The, the whole point is to, like, uh, give the player a sense of progression. But then, essentially what happens, potentially, after a while, is that, like, it gamifies the, you know, it gamifies the experience too much. And this is a Ubisoft game, right? This is a Ubisoft game. And we can see this play out in another one of Ubisoft's own series, uh, you know, namely Assassin's Creed, where... They have, like, the open-world action-adventure, and it's not really about, you know, assassins anymore, yeah. right? You have this huge, you know, action-adventure, open-world, but then it's sort of bogged down with the implementation of RPG mechanics, numbers, progression mechanics. And the whole idea, as I was saying, is to give the players a sense of progression, but essentially what happens is that it sort of takes them out of the experience, right? It takes them out of the experience, it's not as immersive and all of that sort of thing, and I think it ends up being an active detriment. It ends up being an active detriment. Whoa! Okay, I gotta undo this. Having the targeting is sort of an issue. <laughs> ah, I should be fine though. It's, it's not like these guys are difficult. There we go. Done. And the way that the health bar works, that once you're out of combat, you should recover. As you can see in the bottom, there's like four different sections of health. As long as your health does not go below that one bar, 
then you should be able to recover the rest of it. But yeah, we can see like it's actually beautiful. But yeah, as to my point uh, earlier, it's like I don't know. Like it, I've I've played Assassin's Creed Odyssey, right? I haven't played Valhalla, so. To be fair, my opinions on Valhalla Alpha. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm, I'm out of there. I'm out of there. Uh, my opinions on Valhalla might be a little misinformed since I haven't actually played it yet. But with regards... Yeah, with, with regards to Odyssey, I've played a little bit of it. And it definitely does fall into the trap of being too gamified. And, the, you know... Like, the world feels sort of artificial because there's so much numbers and you have to hit certain metrics, you have to grind and all of that sort of thing, and it sort of takes you out of the experience, right? And so that is the danger when devs see games, you know, like the open world games, and then they just put RPG mechanics onto everything. I don't think all of them need it. And yes, we have the success of games like Genshin Impact as an example, but I still don't think, you know, like... You could get a lot of good games if you took the formula of Breath of the Wild and, you know, you applied it without going for the RPG mechanics as well. Alright, All right, this is pretty fine. This is pretty fine. So, so, as for my goal here, I look like I've been randomly just traveling around, but my goal here is actually to reach the Hall of Gods. Whoa. There we go. Ah, hello Floofles. How are you today? How are you, Floof? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Ah, should I just hop down here? Yeah, let's hop down here. Alright. Hopefully uh, this doesn't lead to our deaths. But yeah, my, my goal essentially was just to reach the, uh, reach the Hall of Heroes, Hall of the Gods or something. Um, but I got sidetracked. By this, uh, not a Zelda-like temple. Wait, haven't I already been here? I, th I feel like I have. Yeah, I feel like I have already been here. Let's find out. Yeah. And that should open up the gateway up there. Yeah, I already have been here. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wait, hold on. How do we jump again? I mean, like, I have the jump. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope you are too. That's good to hear, Floof. That's good to hear. Do I even need to stay? I've, I've already beaten this puzzle, haven't I? Uh, yeah, we can exit the vault. I, I don't mind losing my progress because I've already beaten this before. Um, I've just forgotten how to glide. If I remember how to do that, I'll be good to go. Because you, you get the double jump like that. Oh, cool. Uh, I guess we can get one of those. No, uh, that's not it. That's definitely not it. Alright, alright. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out some other way. Um, but yeah, we have already been through here. We just need to make our way to the Hall of the Gods, which is up there, as we can see. So... There we go. Nice. Nice. Uh, okay. Whew. Nice. Cool. We're able to get past that bridge without too many problems. Um, can we climb up through here? I feel like that's too much of an ask. Yeah, that's too much of an ask. We probably have to go around here. Probably have to go around here, guys. So I hope everybody in chat's doing well today. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Like I said before, I was planning to play Guild Wars, but a couple of things happened with my account. So I've decided to put that on hold for the time being. Uh, don't... Ah. I don't want them to attack me. Whoa! There we go. I should be fine from here. Because they don't know how to climb up, right? So we should be good to go. There we go. And the whole point 
the whole point of getting up here was so that I can cross that gap and then get up there. So we can see here. Uh, let, let, let's sprint it first. There we go. Nicely done. Toru, if I don't say so myself. I just got to remember how to glide. Ah, it was B. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now I remember. Okay. I'm good here. Um, so from this point, it's like scaling all of the rocks, right? So I need to find out how to scale in order to get to the top. Uh, I would appreciate like a more zoomed out view. Just so we can confirm. Uh, whoa! We're definitely not going down there. I'll tell you that much. We're definitely not going down there. Alright. Alright, so we have... We have the soldiers there, but we've already done that. Like, we've already talked to those soldiers, and we've already helped them in, in their quest, or in their thing. Because they, they were fighting off a cyclops. We already got rid of that. Maybe... Yeah, maybe if we just climb up here, it's possible. Maybe we have the stamina for this. Let's find out. Let's find out, guys. Have we got the stamina? I think we do. We should. There we go. Not bad. Very cool. Very cool. So now we're up here. And we can go up there. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Don't mean to go that high. I'd rather just drop from there. And then regenerate stamina. Look at the view, though. It's actually quite beautiful. And we can see, though, we can see that... Ah, uh, Ghoul, welcome. Welcome, Ghoul. How are you today? How are you today? Uh, we can see, like, the different worlds here. You can see this is, like, green, and it's all nice and bushy, and then there's, like, a desert area there, and all of that sort of thing. So we can see that the game has, like, not only has a massive draw distance, but we can actually uh, get an idea of what the world is like in, you know, in, in its totality. I'm good. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Or, well, it'll be close to evening for you, I think. Uh, maybe still day. Okay, we can drop here, regain our stamina, which is really what we needed. Um, and then we can jump up to here. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, okay, we're almost at the... We're almost at the summit, guys. We're almost at the top. We're almost at the peak. There we go. Beautiful. We have now made our way to the Hall of the Gods. It was funny because when I last streamed this, I was confused. Like, oh my goodness, is there something I'm missing? Is there somewhere I still need to go? But apparently not. You just needed to climb up. Just needed to climb up. And look at this. Look at this world. You can see there. Massive volcano. You know, desert area lush green, you know, uh, icy mountains, oh wow, okay, <laughs> temples, like the game isn't afraid of basically showing to you, you know, what you can explore before you've even got there, which is cool, which is cool, which is cool, uh, but I'm, I'm glad to hear you're doing well, I'm glad to hear you're doing well, Google. Um, alright, I guess we can just climb up here, ba -bang! there we go, Really gives you a sense the of sight scale. Of the great hall took Phoenix's breath away. I'll take my breath away, to be honest. This is incredible. <laughs> sure is. It, it's one of the reasons. It's one of the reasons why I would like it's to visit right. some historical we'll some sites. Updating. You know, all motif is a bit um, out. like all over Europe and all of that. So we're safe here. Remember that thing like Italy I stole and from Greece, Typhon? Uh, it Egypt, was an itty you know, piece of his eye to hide this place from his terrifying like gaze. With archaeological sites You're and welcome. preserved like ruins and all of that, I would love to go you visit some places. You said this is the Hall of the Gods. Well, where are the others? <laughs> Let me start from the beginning. Oh, that's no good. With his hand on Phoenix's shoulder. Hermes recounted the tale of Typhon, destroyer of gods. Destroyer of gods. So Typhon, Typhon is like a uh... born of Gaia, was a terrible, cruel beast. Okay, who I was about to, to say, he seems like a Titan. The gods. 
he challenged Zeus. Well, technically, Zeus is also a titan, like the, the Olympiad of titans, titan too, aren't they? The Damn straight he was. <laughs> imprisoned under a mountain where he could do no more harm. He could be good to get back into that kind of shape again. <laughs> For thousands of years, Typhon festered until Helios was eclipsed and burning stars fell from the heavens. Oh no. The stars burnt through Typhon's chain. Susue, and no. in an explosion of fire <laughs> and smoke, Typhon burst from the mountain. The gods had wronged and tortured him. Oh, that is true. He vowed. This world will be cleansed. The gods will pay. And so, Typhon sought his revenge. Destroy the men that separates this hallowed land from the underworld. Let Tartarus walk among the gods. Trouble, devour, and turn this life false god to dust. Come, Olympians! Brandish your weapons and face me! You have underestimated my power and work in your hubris! Go to my unseatable! Oh, that's platform. Hephaestus. Bang! Some gods fled in fear. Others stayed to fight. Many were captured. Typhon split them apart, cleaving their essences from them. And transforming them irrevocably <laughs> in a final Chicken. desperate attempt to save their lands. The gods called on the heroes of old, the last warriors who had more than a few drops of god's blood remaining in their veins. <laughs> we can sell this. Oh, Your heroes will exist they've been corrupted. Their former selves, serving me forever. And so they're like Typhon's uh, champions the gods now. The had failed, and so had the heroes. But just when all hope seemed lost, hope rises. Like a so, phoenix! Yeah, a lot of fighting and losing. And now you are our only remaining hope to restore these lands to their former glory and save the world from chaos. All we have, Phoenix, Thanks, is you. No pressure. No pressure. I kind of lost track of who's who. Is that one with the spiky hair you or Typhon? <laughs> Forget it. The vanquished gods need to be reunited with their severed essences to regain their power. And then, together, you must defeat Typhon. It's a lot ah, to take in, you know. This is honestly a lot. Yeah. I wish my brother was here. Look, kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, <laughs> just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got, seeing as how everyone else has been defeated. Good luck. I'll be right here doing nothing. <clears throat> I mean, beginning preparations. Thanks. Well, I, I mean, you know, he's just a, he's just oh, an errand boy. Hermes can't do all that much. Fine. Your best starting point is to reach the top of the other statues on the Golden Isle. Wow. Island, so you can track the missing gods. Find them, oh. and they should be able to help you. Here we go, friends. Essences. Here is the uh, Ubisoft Hello. game design. They haven't been themselves. Climb this so big really location sure. and do like um, a GPS tracking. What's that mean? <laughs> Guess you'll find out. There's probably going to be like a champion or like a boss at each of the towers, right? And then we, you know, we beat them, and then we can climb up this. Think. What Whoa, would my brother do? <sighs> Whoa! What is this? There's that wonderful. Oh, it's the ambrosia. ambrosia. I think. Yeah. Life. Here we go. You want increased protection? Distill it here and drink up. Then enjoy the ride. Ah. One time, okay. Maximum health. Old Kilix and destroyed the entire Greek fleet right after she had sided with them in battle. <laughs> it was epic. Sorry. Guess you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. <laughs> they died. Oh. And oof. I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No. 
Hmm. <sighs> That's kind of crazy, but like it's not it's not too out of character, right? So I guess this is like your central home base where you can do all of your major upgrades and all of that. And then from this base, we have a view of the world, not just like where we need to go, but like the world in general, because hold on, let, let me, let me check just to make sure because, uh, because I feel like this is on the edge or something like that. Like, uh, hold on, let's go. Let me, how do we go to the map? <laughs> How do we go to the map? Uh, anyway, doesn't really matter too much. But if we take a look here, it's like this tower is basically at the edge of the map. As we can see, if we go this side, see, like it's already on the edge. And then, you know, we can see the whole world. It's our, it's our window into the, into the world. And we can see where we need to go, like all the temples and the statues. But I actually want to... I want to fill in like What's this? the lightning Not stuff. Sure. Hades had it delivered. The ah, the gold, the, the fame, coins of an unexpected Caron. help could very well arrive. Okay. Be careful. I don't really need that Argo right now. Argo broke the last gift from the underworld, and look what happened to him. Yeah, I don't Who really need Argo? that right now. <laughs> exactly. Argo, nice. Yeah, I don't. I don't need that right now. What What I want to do is I want to trade in some of the uh, lightning bolts that you get from doing the temple challenges. And then, in, you know, and the reason for that is because that increases the stamina. So that's actually what I'm looking for. Maybe this? Cauldron of Cersei. Okay. Nice Ooh, cauldron. crafting. Phoenix let the empty compliment die in the ensuing silence. And instead, <laughs> tried to focus on potential potion recipes. Oh no. Wait, he doesn't know any potion recipes. What did, what did Phoenix mean by this? Whoa, whoa. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody that can uh, speak or read Greek in my chat right now, but I, I would love to know if this is authentic. Like, if this is, like, if this is modern Greek, I wouldn't be too surprised, right? But if this was, like, ancient Greek, that would be really cool, you know? Uh, it, it, it would just add a nice touch if... Because there's a lot of text, there's a lot of plaques, there's a lot of, you know, epito uh, not epitomes, there's uh, a lot of, like, monuments and that sort of thing. And so if they tried to do their best to be, you know, historically accurate with the writings, that would be really cool. That Those would be really cool. Ideas but I, I couldn't tell if they are. You mortals seem to need an incentive, so I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And mm. since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, merchandise. Ah, so items. Okay. Ooh, cool. Creative. Or you could always <laughs> just pay me your own Electrum. I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Is he? Wait, I don't think Hermes is Hermes Those the god prices. of like. Wow. I'm also the god of thieves. Is he? We don't have our vices. Is Hermes really What's like the god underneath? of all these different aspects? I thought he was just like chart. the messenger god. Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever try to get blood out of the I mean, I guess blood? people who are more familiar well, with Greek mythology could let me know. Because <laughs> I'm not. I, I am interested in it. And I do think it's very cool. Um, but I'm not that well versed at it. You know, like, my, my knowledge you know, lies more with, like, anything. classical antiquity. Like, history. But not necessarily the, uh... The mythology of it all. He is? Okay, good to know. Good to know. Alright, I, I, I guess Ooh. I was wrong then. <laughs> is this Hephaestus' forge? You're cute. Try not to impale yourself on anything. <laughs> cute. But Phoenix wasn't listening. He was drawn to the forge by a hidden force. The adamantine he'd gathered, calling out to be reshaped. I do like how messenger, trickster, merchant, other things. Ah, okay. I guess he's just the, um... He's just the catch-all god, right? <laughs> okay, this better be the lightning one. Yeah, Bench of Zeus, here we go. Here we go, maximum stamina. This is actually what I'm after. But thank you for letting me know, Fluff. This you is where you know. train? Oh, gods, no. What a waste of me time. <laughs> cheat using Zeus's lightning to enhance your muscles and stamina. That's what I do. Very nice, very nice. Take shortcuts. That's what will get me the way. <laughs> I get that a lot. All right, I, I will try and use this because this is what I'm actually after. So I have four, 
Uh, let's upgrade. Ta -da! Oh, wait. Wait, five? Wait, what? Uh, upgrade your maximum stamina by one stamina chunk. Ch chunk, sorry. Um, I guess that's it. That, that's all I can do so far. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Look at Toru, go! <laughs> He's doing those reps, guys. He's doing those reps. <laughs> Look at Hermes in the background. <laughs> you weren't working out. What are you doing? No, I'm not interested in Electrum at the moment. Um, so... Where do we go from here? I get Ah, oh, so they, the first statue to scout is Aphrodite's statue, I guess. Uh, oh, there is fast travel. From pain comes beauty. We are not alone here. When in Olympus. Alright, we'll just go- we'll, we'll just go to... Uh, Aphrodite statue first, and we can see here. Okay, so these are all the different regions in the game, and the Valley of the Eternal Spring is like this, you know, lush, you know, sort of lush, uh, you know, valley that we're in right now. But then we can we can see like clashing rocks. We can see the gates of Tartaros and the Warrior Wars Den, which is obviously like Ares sort of area. And then Forge Lands, Hephaestus, Grove of Kleos. Okay, so Statue of Athena, and then King's Peak would be like something Zeus related, I'd imagine. Um, okay, cool, cool. And that's all fine. That is all fine. It actually means that, like, what we see here, this is only just, like, piecemeal of, like, the full map. Because we can see there, we can see into the gates of Tartarus and, you know, War's Den, right? But there's actually so much more beyond that, which is cool, which is cool. Um, alright. So, I imagine Aphrodite, like, that's Aphrodite's statue. In which case, in which case, let's take a little leap of faith. <laughs> this is so cool. This is honestly so cool. I, I really like this aspect of the game, but I better go down. Yeah, right? Because if you can see the stamina, right? I gotta make sure I don't completely run out, right? So I have to like control my descent so that I don't completely just die. There we go. There we go. There we go. See? See? <laughs> At the very end of that, I had lost all my stamina. So, it's not wise to, uh, you know, let it lapse and then just die in a really terrible way. Like, you, you absolutely don't want that. Alright. Nice bridge. The, the statue is still a way away. I loaded it on last. Welcome, JP. Welcome to the stream. Uh, what issues were you having? What issues were you having? Oh, welcome, welcome. Glad you can make it. Glad you can make it. We haven't done too much. We just went to the summit up there, Hall of the Gods, and that will act as our home base. Uh, for the majority of this game, we can, like, do upgrades and that sort of thing there. And so that's what I've been doing. Uh, that's what I've been doing. But now that we've done that... Okay, these are the boars. Oh. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Oops. That's fine, though. That's fine. Ah. There we go. There we go. Nice. Error 2000. I don't know what that is, JP. I don't know what that is, but yeah. We just went to the Hall of Gods, and then we got, like, uh, a base of operations, and then now we're just going out and exploring and making our way to the Statue of Aphrodite, which is our next uh, particular target. Oh, God, those boars look pretty powerful. I don't want to do anything with them yet. Uh, let's go for those harpies. Ooh, that, that's like a temple challenge, right? Let's see, can we... Yeah, okay. Let's, let's take those harpies. Alright. Alright, the thing is, like, they're all coming for me, but then it's all in slow-mo. So I should be fine. I should be... Oh, wow, there's a lot of them, actually. Okay, one more. One more should take it out, and then I will focus on the rest. 
There we go. Alright, cool. <laughs> oh no, oh no, Phoenix is... Wait, what? Wait, can I just bait them or do they respawn? Oh, they respawn. Okay, okay. For a moment I thought you can just bait them far enough and then they, you know, do whatever, but that's actually not the case. Oops. I thought that like if they get far enough they just disintegrate, but no. They just respawn back at the back at the point. And so I guess that's a way for the game to prevent uh cheesing, right? There we go. But that just allows me to take down the harpies. Huh? Ooh. Sorry for, like, being quiet. I'm, I am a little bit trying to focus. And then now that I've cleared all those enemies out, I can go ahead and do this uh, temple challenge, which is what I was trying to do. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I'm not, I'm not good at video games. I'm not good at video games. So like, I gotta, I gotta focus my limited amount of brain cells into every single challenge that I do. So I'm sorry for not being that talkative, guys. But hopefully, everybody watching is doing well today. I sincerely, I sincerely hope for that. Um, okay, so I guess we can just move this particular thing around. And move it into here. But I'm not quite sure what the game is trying to get me to do. Okay, so we can let go. Um, oh, okay. okay. But then... Okay, so I guess we bring this with us. Ah, okay. I'm assuming this is what the game wants me to do, right? So we bring this with us. And then we move it into this plot here. Right? Surely. Alright, cool. And then that will allow us to move up here. Uh, okay, what's next? Oh, okay. So there's more here. Ah. Huh. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. Puzzles that require thinking? Oh no. How am I going to get through this? I don't think I can do it, guys. So those two balls are there. What does the game want us to do then? Right? What does the game want us to do? Let's let's go a bit further and see. Right? Because I wonder if we can just ignore everything here. Surely not. Surely the game is not just going to let us run through it and ignore everything. Right? Right? 
Ah, oh, okay, okay. So the goal is to... To get this lit up, right? Is backseating okay? Uh, to certain degrees, JP, but generally speaking, not, you know, not hugely. I'm not hugely into backseating. So the idea is just to move the two balls and get them up in there. Like, in that goal specifically. So I, I think I get it now. I think I get it now. I just needed... Uh, I just needed to see it for myself, you know? And so... Now that this has been activated, we should just be able to take this. No, 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 not that one. I didn't want that one. Ah. Uh, okay, whatever. Whatever. It's kind of annoying that, like, the one that was right next to me doesn't get moved, but then the one that was so far away from me does. But now I see it now. I understand the concept, though it may still take me a while to execute it properly. I do get it. You saw, you saw that, right? Like, I was clearly facing that ball there, right? I was clearly facing this fucking ball. Oh, whatever. Anyway, anyway. Let's move this one across. Huh? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Surprising that the game... Wait. Huh. Okay. That's the case, we'll do it like that. Ah, oh, no, 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 okay, okay. Okay. So they, they want me to do it like this? Reverse the order? Different balls? And then do it like this? I I'm, assu I'm assuming that this, like, the metal casing means that this thing doesn't get picked up in the updraft. And then that's the issue that I'm missing. So if we can activate this one, then it will work. Right? Like, th that's what I'm assuming here. I could still be wrong. In which case, I don't... Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh... Can we... No, we can't do anything with that one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, we can move this to here, and then what does it activate next? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So it activates these stairs, which means that we now move this one across. So this game is essentially just trying to say that, oh, okay. Um, you know, you... You, uh, you alternate between the two different balls because they have different properties. In order to complete the puzzle, you need to do both sides. You know, not simultaneously, but sequentially. Sequentially, you need to work on this ball, and then that will this will work on something on the other side. Yep, yep, yep. I see. I see. I have, I have smart, I have higher than room temperature IQ, friends. You know, I know things. I know things. So we can just move this there. Okay. Wait, what? Whoa! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Okay. Ha! Huh. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! Ah! Uh Why is the game like this? Oh my god. Why is the game like this? I had the right idea. Maybe I need to like go from there and do it. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Uh why? Why? <laughs> Uh, 
ไปวะอ uh, I will take a shower. I certainly have the time. I I bet you would. I bet you would, JP. But uh, yeah, take care with the shower. I will see you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. I I think I have the right idea for this. Thing. I have the right idea. It's just a matter of the execution, especially because there's physics involved, and you can't trust that. You know, you cannot trust that. I need I need to rest the stamina. Uh, I guess we can just push this across. All right, let's see if th this works out as intended. Right? Surely it will, right? Like it'll go up through there, and then it will just land. All right? Why doesn't it land? Okay, okay, okay. Oh no. Uh, oh no! Then how do I do it? Like, do I move it up here? Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I need... I need some time to think about this. I need some time to think about this. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Kenjo, please. No. No, how are you, by the way? How are you, by the way? I Like, my idea is not wrong. There, there, there might be something that I'm missing, I guess. Maybe, maybe there is. Maybe there is. But I don't feel like my idea is necessarily wrong. How are you today? How are you today, Kenjo? Um, let's see. Yeah. 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 Maybe... Maybe it's a false herring? Maybe? Let's see. Uh, oh no, this one... Yeah, now there's nowhere else to move that. Like, you can't move it up there. Hmm. Hmm! Alright. Because I don't feel like what I'm doing is wrong. But how are you going, Kenjo? How are you going? Mm, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like... Oh, there we go! There we go. Did you see that, guys? Like, it, it was it was correct the whole time, but for some reason it just didn't work. The idea was correct the whole time, it just didn't work. Uh, and, and that just has to do with, like, the physics. Okay, cool. I'm... <laughs> it's unfortunate that it took so long, but, like, you know, I'm okay with that in the end. I'm okay with that in the end. And the reason I'm okay with that in the end is because we got there. We got there, you know? Life, as my grandfather likes to tell me, you know, life is not necessarily, right? Life is not necessarily about, you know, being as quick as possible, but it's about getting to your destination in the end. And that's, that's the main thing here. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, move this one and across there. Cool. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? Well, I mean, I guess so. I, I don't know if it does. You know, maybe you can let me know, JP? But, yeah. There we go. Don't fall down, don't fall down. Okay, cool. Nice, 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 nice. Wait, wait, weren't you supposed to take a shower? Or are you done already? Yeah. Uh... Game, game. Okay, whew. And then this probably gets the updraft you're working. No? Okay. Nice. Bathroom occupado? Okay. 
Okay, I mean, you don't need to tell me what goes on in there, but sure thing, JP, sure thing. Alright. Alright. There we go. We're nearly there, friends. We're nearly there. These puzzles? Ooh. Wait, is it that direction or this direction? I'm gonna go this direction and see what see what we can do. Oh no! Wait, wh why did I even do that? I know that that's wrong. Oh my god. I know that that doesn't work. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. I'll just go back to the start. I'll go back to the start. Uh, okay, good. It, it, it respawned here, which is right. It respawned there, which was pretty fortuitous. Okay. <laughs> why? Why not? No, that was... It's fine. It's fine. Oh shit. <laughs> go again. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'll leave this here for now because I actually do want to explore what's what's over here. Like if there's anything worth it. Oh, there is something special here. There is something special there. Look at that. So the idea is that I need to get like the other one. Over here. But I, I don't know if that's worth it. Right, let, let's just do this first. And then we can move the other one across, you know? Cool, cool. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Let's see if this is the right one, or if it's like the other one. I don't know. Mm, this is still pretty good. And then we can just push this one across. And then we can leave this one here. And then this opens up the next area, but I kind of want to... I kind of want to push it across here, right? Because I kind of want to go up there rather than this one. Because that's to end this level, but I want to go across. I'm, I'm going to 100% this, guys. Even even if I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> there we go. There we go. No no no! <laughs> Almost rolled down. Almost rolled down. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Oh, perfect, perfect. Let's see what we get out of this. All these gems. Ooh, hubris of the one-eyed giant. Nice. Oh, I'm happy with that, guys. I'm happy with that. I definitely showed a little bit of hubris earlier, and I did get, you know, I did get punished for it. Whoa, you actually do take full damage in this game. But in the end, in the end, I was able to do just fine. Just fine. Right. Nice. Very nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this one. I'm gonna have to wait until it comes back down. That's alright though. It is alright. Okay. So we're nearly done with this challenge. Uh, thank you for being patient. I do appreciate it. But yeah, well, we're almost done, which is, you know, good to see, good to see. Uh, we'll be heading towards the Statue of Aphrodite soon, and we'll see what we can do there. Alright, nice, nice. Ho oh, ho ho, nice. Perfect. The feeling of, like, control that you get over the gliding here is really, really nice. Like, I haven't- okay, I haven't played too many games. I haven't played too many games that allow you to glide and fly and that sort of thing, but, like, the level of control that this game gives you is pretty good. Uh, I do like it. I do like it. There we go. Plus one. 
All right. We're going to need to do a lot of those in order to get, you know, maximum stamina, but we'll try our best. We'll try our best. Very cool. Oh. Wait, wait, what's this? Wait, what's that? Does something... Does something happen what every... Yeah. Does something happen every time? Uh, every time I clear one of those, something bad happens? I don't, I don't like the sound of that. Uh, let's see if there's anything to clear here. Oh, nice. Ah, thought I dodged that. <laughs> there we go. Not bad. Okay. So now that we've cleared all of them, does that mean we... Okay. I was hoping that it undoes... Oh. Ah, okay. Nice. Maybe that undoes the barrier, or is there still more enemies? Oh, there are still more enemies. What the fuck? Just hide in the middle of fucking nowhere in the bushes. Because my, my guess is that once you clear all the enemies in the area, that unlocks, but it's clearly not unlocked. So, there has to be more enemies in the area, or there's like a mechanic that I'm missing, right? As far as I know, there's nothing else here. Oh, it's the harp! Oh, oh geez, I hope I don't have to face off against the bear. Not the harp, it was the, um, the liar, right? Can we just... Can we, can we, can we chuck this? Oh. <laughs> okay. That, that did not work, unfortunately. Is there enemies still here that I'm missing? Maybe... Hmm... Okay, so if this place, if this place still doesn't open up, there's obviously something that I'm missing here, right? Oh, maybe these guys? Ah, oh, shit, this guy looks pretty tough. Alright. Let's do some damage to this. Oh, these guys are Oh, shit, 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 shit. These guys are powerful. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 hit and run. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so there is friendly fire for the enemies. Oh, close hit. Ah, oh, I thought I dodged that one. That's fine. Nice, nice, nice. Oh my god, that did so much damage, I thought I dodged it. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh, that's so close. Ah, oh, I thought I'd dodge that one. Okay, okay, let's heal up a bit. Okay. Okay. Okay, we can do this, guys. Whoa. <laughs> nice, there we go. Got him. Whew. It's actually amazing how far they fly, right? It's amazing how far they fly because like when you when you do the final hit. Oh. Hydrate, thank you, Kenjo. That whole time. I, I attacked the Cyclops because I thought it would unlock the door, but it doesn't. Which is a sort of unfortunate, but... Like, it, it's sort of comical, right? It's sort of comical how far they fly uh, when you do the final shot. Because when you do the final shot, like, then the ragdoll physics take over. And so, you know, if you hit them with, like, a power attack, then it just sends them flying, like, miles and miles away, which is pretty amusing. Ooh, new weapon. New weapon. I should actually, I should actually start equipping the stuff that I have, you know? Uh, time to, uh, engage with these RPG mechanics. I don't know, though. These attacks are pretty strong. Like, okay, so, so what do I have, right? So I can have the Axe of Atalanta. Or I could have the Forbidden Labris. Perfect parry. That's pretty good, but I need to know- <laughs> I need to know how to do a perfect parry. Ooh, that's not bad. Wait, the- <sighs> The stats really don't change though that much. It's like they have like alternate, uh, extra things. Yeah, they have extra things, but then they don't necessarily provide like a proper power boost, I guess. So this is what I got. 30 plus defense against unique enemies, plus one health chunks. Ooh, having extra health is really, really useful. Uh, extra stamina is pretty good. I, I would prefer robes of the new Olympian, though. Uh, wings of Daedalus broken. Okay, that's fine. Uh, give me the elk, yeah. How do we call the horses to you? How do we call the horses to you? I, I can't remember. Um... There, there has to be a button for it that, that I'm not I'm not aware of. That I'm not aware of. Oh, okay. It was just that. <laughs> it was just that. Easy. Easy. Ooh, Ambrosia. Or the Flower Nectar, rather. Right. Can we jump? Oh, no. Yeah, we can jump, but not exactly in the way that I want. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Stay away, bear. There we go. Aphrodite and then the apple. At the <laughs> I was about to jump from this, but no, no. I'm, I'm not going to subject my uh, poor mount. Wait, no! What were you... That's, that's the reason... That's, that's why... I jumped off the mound, so that wouldn't happen. Oh. oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Y you guys didn't see that, right? You didn't see that. Right? Right? That, that didn't happen. You didn't see anything. 
All right, let's try and make our way up the statue. <laughs> no, you didn't see anything, Kenjo. Nothing happened. All right. Uh, okay, I think this is probably the best way. This is probably the best way. On, climb up, climb up, climb up. And then we can see there, there's like a... Ledge up there, and then ledges up there. So we, we can see that it is actually possible to get to the top from here. This is very familiar to anybody who's like... Played Zelda, or... I don't know, is Genshin Impact like this with the climbing mechanics? I'm not even sure. Because I've never played Genshin Impact, to be honest. Uh, maybe there is someone in my chat who has played Genshin Impact, and they could elaborate further. But as far as my knowledge goes... Uh, I imagine they have that? Yes? Okay. okay. I'm not surprised. Phoenix stumbled Ooh. upon a winged creature, easily mistaken for a fairy. However, its true identity would soon be revealed. Mm. So, what is it? Phoenix would need to free it to find out. Yeah, but you can tell me now. <laughs> can you please respect my narrative pacing? No. As Phoenix freed the small creature imprisoned on the aisle, she let out a cry. Which meant, great hero, I am but a piece of Nike, the goddess of victory. Ooh. Please free the others, so oh, I like may a nymph? return to my full glory. They won't win without Nike. She's like a glove or a... A uh, thing you wear that protects you while running. A helmet. <laughs> yes, the climb mechanics is a sim uh, similar in Genshin. <laughs> okay, good to know, girl. Good to know. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for letting me know. Because, yeah, I I'm not too familiar with it. I mean, I probably should try Genshin some at some point. But, um... <gasps> hey, hey, listen, listen. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kenjo. Thank you for that. All right, all right. Climbing up to the statue. And we should be getting pretty close to the apple, which is where we need to go. Whoa. Very nice. Very nice. Wow, wow, look at this view, friends. Look at this view. Magnificent. Magnificent. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ambrosia! Nice, 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 nice. And then... Cool. Very cool. You can see there, the big statue. And we make our way to the apple. There we go. It's not a Ubisoft game unless we have this, ah, right? The Valley of Truly. It's highlights in Truly a Ubisoft game, my friends. That reaches up to the heavens. It is quite the view though. It is quite the view. The Hall of the Gods. Eros' palace. Oh, I'm glad he finally got his happy ending. <laughs> And a palace belonging to the goddess of beauty herself. Oh. Of course, Aphrodite would claim the prime real estate with the best view. As long as she's safe from prying eyes, I'm happy. Very nice. We completed the mission, guys. From such great heights, a fluttering of birds feeding from the most beautiful apple tree Ooh. caught Phoenix's eye. Phoenix was about as high as I was when I thought marrying Aphrodite off to Hephaestus would stop the other gods from fighting over her. Yes, <laughs> that view from Mount Olympus is something else. I haven't yes, seen you're, uh, it in a little years. bit deluded there. You're not Zeus. getting that high again. So stop asking. <laughs> All right. So we have now revealed this section of the map, friends. Very, very nice. And our next area to track is the apple tree there's probably like there's probably like something special there um so 400 there we are yep <laughs> okay okay we actually can't do anything there that's fine okay so
Next goal is to get over there. Next goal is to get over there. Ah, uh, that's not too far. I just want to see what's up there. Oh my god. That looks like a very mean boy. Okay. Alright, leap of faith, friends. Here we go. Here we go. This is going to be a little bit difficult because I do have to juggle, like, my, uh, my stamina a little bit. Right? I can't go up there, necessarily. I'm just going to have to, like... Yeah, I have to, I have to come out down here because I don't think I have the stamina. There we go. Nice. Nice. Can't wait until I get more stamina, though. Uh, let's sneak up and demolish this boar. You know, because we're tired of these animals. So let's get rid of this boar. Nice. Surprised it didn't notice me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Gephardt goes flying. Oh, that's always amusing. Uh, let's see what we can get up here. Nice area for mushrooms. And from memory, I, I don't remember if there's anything here specifically, but look, this is a nice area, isn't it? Ooh. Muse, tell me the deeds of golden Aphrodite, who subdues mortal men and birds in air. Wait, this was... on land and sea. Grant me a song. Stir up my sweetest. Yeah, this was the liar, right? Hey, watch it, but and then that's my daughter-in-law you're talking about. <laughs> the the pattern was two four one, wasn't it? From memory, because we we tried it before, right? We we listened to the small liar. So how do we do this one, right? Do we just step on it? Oh no. Wait. Does it work like this? Nope, okay. Huh. I don't know how this gets done then. Does the game explain it to you? I guess not. Ha! <laughs> I guess not. Oh, okay. So you just play it direct. I know that's wrong. I know that's wrong. Two. What? Game. No! Oh. Okay. And down here. And then... Here. Okay, there, there's there's something to it that I'm missing. Ma maybe there's multiple small liars that uh, I need to get. Because I've only seen one, right? And then the pattern on that was 241. But we'll, we'll try it again. We'll try it again, because that was super scuffed. Let's try it again. Two. Four. One. Okay, that didn't look like it did anything. So there's probably more there that I'm missing. And that's fine. That's fine. It's just good to know that it's at least there. Right? It's good to know that it's at least there. And uh, we can come to it later. You know? Come to it later. But now, we make our way to the apple tree. To the apple tree. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I would like to do, like... I don't know. I, I would like to learn more about... Uh, ancient mythology, like Greek mythology specifically. It would be cool if, like, I could do a stream about it. Maybe, maybe once I finish the game, right? Maybe once I finish the game, we can do like a uh, Greek mythology review <laughs> stream or something like that, where we go over, where we go over uh, some of the most well-known stories in Greek mythology. Maybe I can find like a book or something along those lines, and then we can just go over it. Like that would be nice. That would be nice. Already forgetting about the mount? No, no, no. Like, yes, but also no, Setsu. Now, the, the thing is, though, with the mounts, is that, like, I enjoy the jumping. I enjoy the double jumping. You can't really do that with a mount, right? And so, yeah, I do forget it, but, like, 
another part of it is because I do enjoy jumping and gliding and stuff. But how are you going, Setsu? How are you going? Maybe play Hades after May. That's an idea. That's an idea, Kenjo. Investigate the apple tree. Oh my goodness. But how are you? How's everybody? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. You wouldn't happen to be Aphrodite. Why, yes, I am. Pleasure to have you. <laughs> She's become a tree. Funniest shit I've ever seen. Phoenix, sorry, <laughs> I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your uh, arboreal state, you're beautiful. That's sweet of you to say, but the only mirror I gaze into these days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. Mm. Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But alas, I've been my neglecting my dinner. <laughs> so I have a big uh, fat kebab. And I've been neglecting so it as I've been absorbed into this game. I, I need to eat it before it gets too cold. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. She did not just say that. I am reformed now. My old essence locked away in a vault wedged under my largest root, <laughs> which is for the best. Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. To feed the hungry, of course. Well, my roots were as a pretty bad farmer, so I know how to hurt plants. Salt, it shrivels them up. Oh, would that work? But of course, my roots are not ordinary. They're primal, powerful. So we'll need, uh, mythical salt water? Oh, oh, this is in the prophecy. A pearl in rough seas. You are a pearl born from rough seas. The salty sea foam from your birth. Yes, what an inspired proposal. But I couldn't possibly trouble a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What if a stranger asked to be troubled? Mm. If a stranger asked to be troubled, then I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. Here's how to conjure Siphon from my birthplace. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Grandpappy <laughs> Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it- That's definitely the story. Okay. <laughs> okay, Zeus. I'm sure that's how it went uh, down. I like the- not I like the implication the ocean that really uh, hard. Aphrodite that is a much simple. nicer person oh, when, thank like, you, Phoenix. she's been given I'll a be lobotomy. <laughs> fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Because, like, she's like the complete opposite well, of a personality. This is weirder <clears throat> than the time Demeter turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite, sweet and charitable, no more mischief. Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. Yeah, I, I really enjoy the implication that, like, her essence and her power being sealed off by Typhon actually turns her into a very nice and agreeable character. <laughs> you know, as opposed to being... Oh, well, like, m most most interpretations of Aphrodite usually have her as, like, some kind of narcissist and that sort of thing, so... <clears throat> it's pretty interesting that it turns out this way. Uh, what's in here? Yoink. Uh, can't really do a whole lot with that. <clears throat> Couple of boars. No, I mean... Whatever. Let's just let's just demolish them. Uh, 
Oh, what? I'm pretty sure I dodged that. These guys are annoying. Uh -huh. Took a bit more damage than I would have liked there, but that's fine. <clears throat> that's fine. Roll the pearl into the ocean. So the idea is to get a pearl. To get a pearl and then roll it all the way across. There we go. I think from here it's probably best just to go with the mount. But I do want to get to a point where it's like... Uh, I do want to get to a point where like you can just jump around. So like here, right? See? Like that, that stuff's cool. That's, that's what I want to do. And if that's, you know, part of why I don't necessarily want to like take the mount the whole way through. Oh. Okay, that, that, that didn't work as well as I would have liked, but you can, you can sort of cheese the game like this, you know? I wonder, I wonder if it's like a speedrun strat to like abuse the, uh, abuse the mounts like this, right? You see, look, it's like back to full again, right? <clears throat> I wonder, I wonder. I don't know, I, I, it's not like I've seen a speedrun of this game, right? It's not like I've seen a speedrun of this game, but I am interested. Alright. We can just run from this point. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. Alright, alright, alright. No, no, no. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. <laughs> no. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. You didn't see shit. Alright, Mr. Cyclops, you didn't see a thing. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, 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 I'm not here, I'm not here, you didn't see anything. Sit back down. <laughs> Alright, so I guess with the way the stealth system works, it's like... It's like... Like, I, I guess my, my, uh, my comparison is with Hitman, right? And then that heavily follows, like, a line of sight. This game doesn't necessarily have the same kind of line of sight mechanics. What? I saw Can he make his way up here? Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, nice try. Nice try. I dare you to do the. I dare you to do that. Oh, fuck. He actually has more. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, what? How am I still getting hit by that? Oh, you know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> Whoa. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I, this is fine. Ah! No, no, no! Oh no! I missed! Oh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god! I took so much damage from that! Ow, that hurts! Oh no! Okay, okay, this is fine, this is fine. I'm okay with the events currently occurring. I'm okay with the events currently occurring. Uh, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. 
Who do you say? Who are you to say that I'm not okay with this? Who are you to say I'm not okay with this? Bang. Bang. Oh, that was close. All the cyclopes away with the other titans, huh? Yes. That was close. He was afraid they Ooh, Pearl. Here we go. There was a prophecy. For Grandpa made the right call. Those things are an eyesore. Wait, do we actually have to move this manually all the way to the sea? Oh my god. He's a gruesome Phoenix, please. Nothing gruesome about it. Grandpa uh, hopefully, and my hopefully this is all Kolos downhill from here, right? Had a battle so great it severed heaven from earth. We. That's not all that was severed. There you go, go for it. During his surprise attack, Kronos descended on Uranus. Where well, earth was severed from heaven, there was a great earthquake that knocked Whoa. a pearl loose from its oyster. <laughs> Hang on, there was no. <clears throat> the pearl flew from its oyster on land. And Uranus caught it and flung it out to sea with such a force that it caused the frothy foam to bubble. Mm. <laughs> I like how Zeus is like, you know, Zeus is the the patron god, right? But then it seems like all of his information about how the world has worked is like really misinformed. And so you have Prometheus, who's supposed to be like the main narrator, just get absolutely exacerbated by, you know, what Zeus doesn't actually know. It's, it's pretty on point. It's a pretty interesting. All right. Uh, I, I don't like the idea of like sending this down. What if it shatters? Uh, I could probably just like nudge it here to the side. And that should be okay. Yep. Ooh. All right, not too bad. This is actually going pretty well, guys. This is going pretty well as long as those bears don't come over. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. All right, this is fine. I expected this. I expected this. All right. Can we... I'm wondering, like, can we just, like, run this past them? The answer is probably no. Ah, uh, whatever. Ah, I was a little bit too early with that. What is uh, that fat lizard? Uh, it looks like a gorgon, uh, JP. It looks like a gorgon. There we go. <laughs> I did the jump for, for dramatic effect. There we go. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 3 lied to you? Well, JP, JP. Right, Heroes of Might and Magic is not necessarily a historically accurate game. It's a fantasy game. It's a fantasy game. I don't know what you're expecting there. I don't know what you. I don't know what you're expecting there. All right, we can go ahead. Uh, this should be able to roll downhill pretty well. I, I don't want to get involved with like bears and that, but the rest should. Ah. Okay. Uh, okay, should be fine. 
Ar Naruhodo ne? What do you mean Naruhodo ne? What? Did you think that it was actually like realistic? Uh. Oh, okay, that doesn't do shit. Okay. That does, though. That does. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Couple of hoppies. All right. Oh, can I? What, what if I actually hit one of these things? Like, how how much of a chad would I be if I actually hit one of these harpies? Okay, please, please stand still. Fuck. Nah, <laughs> not even close. Not even close. That's fine, we could just do this. There we go. Ah, uh, Gorgon, there is some weird lizard bull. Are you sure you're not confusing it for like the minotaur? Like the bull? Okay, one more shot. One more shot. Okay, cool. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. A minotaur is an upright standing bull. Google it. Well, you're the one who seems to be confused. That's why I'm asking if you didn't get confused. I know what a minotaur is. I know what a minotaur is. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, I need more stamina. Unfortunate. Okay, one more shot should do. This shot should do. There we go. Alright, nice. Okay. Yes. Alright. Awesome. We've gotten the pearl. We've gotten the pearl close to our destination now, guys. It's almost there. It's almost there. Just need to get it through this gate. Alright. It's fine. Wait, is that just... What, get three at once or just three? Let's find out. Whoops. Okay, cool. Yeah, you didn't need to do it all at once, which is nice. Okay, just knock it. Bong. Cool. We got it. Up. Oh, wait. Okay. I guess that is where, where it needs to go. Yeah. Wee. <laughs> Plonk. All right. Collect the godly sea farm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. Uh, wait, wait. Did I see something there? Yeah, nice. Right, the farm should be like down there, but there's a lot of um. There's a lot of these flower nectars, so this is still worth like collecting, right? Yeah. So I'd rather do this first. But you know, on the issue of speedrunning, I am kind of interested in like what the speedrun strats for for this game. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's kind of weird because like when it comes to single player games, I wouldn't necessarily say that I have a huge interest in speedrunning, but I do find myself like slightly interested um, in a lot of how it works. I remember... I think it was like, I remember watching someone speedrun Pokemon back in the day, right? 
And then, if, if you guys are aware, I don't know if everybody's aware, but like the Pokemon speedruns, like, are heavily based on exploiting bugs, alright? Exploiting bugs and, you know, uh, finding skips and that sort of thing, and basically just like ignoring parts of the game. And I remember it was a big deal because, like, if you've played Pokemon as a child. Uh, well, we'll listen to this first. Full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. Kronos, we fought. Wait. You can't be serious. Oh, that you <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Let's, uh... I'm gonna go back here, though. Uh, can we fast travel? Nice. Wait. Yeah, we'll fast travel. Okay, so... Like, my first introduction to the idea of speedruns was with Pokemon. And part of that is because if you've played Pokemon as a child, then you may be familiar, like, if you played the first because generation... Kronos cut off his... <laughs> They're still going! You're sick, Prometheus! Do not talk to me! <laughs> With the sea foam secure. Ah! Phoenix resolved to return to Aphrodite with the key to her freedom <laughs> and the vault. Okay, so. Uh, if you're familiar with at least first generation of Pokemon, you may have run into something called like, uh, Missing No, or Missing Number. And that's like a glitch Pokemon that exists as a bug. Like, it's not intended behavior. And then as a result of that Pokemon, you could, uh... You've returned, you shouldn't sweet have been so creature. fast! <laughs> Do you have the sea foam? Right here. Oh, I shouldn't have been so fast. You? I keep interrupting Good. my story. Please, take my blessing for all your hard work. Oh, got the blessing, guys. An apple a day keeps the Typhon away. Now, quick. Pour the foam on my roots. The sooner I can move, the She's going to do a full 180 personality-wise. Just watch. Did it work? Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. <laughs> no, there's too many cuddly creatures that need my help. It keeps me awake at night. Just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes, and those noses, those quivering wet noses. Oh. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Oh, fuck! Okay, 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 okay. Wah! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Oh my god. This guy has so many attacks. Oh no! He he has so many attacks. This guy attacks so often. This guy attacks so often. This guy attacks so much, this is so... Uh. This guy attacks too quickly, guys. Oh, okay, okay, finally. Finally. Oh shit. Okay, cool. Haha! 
Okay, okay. I, I think I've gotten, I've gotten like an understanding of like the uh, the attack pattern now. Okay, this is a bit better. Ah, so close! Oh shit! He just gets so much more powerful, what the heck? Okay, he is enraged? Yeah. Hell yeah, Kenjo. Enraged right there. Oh my god, he's fucking filthy mad. And I am running out on the timer. Ah, shit. There we go, I should be fine now. There we go. Okay, okay, that's alright. Don't tell me there's more. <laughs> Don't tell me there's more. Okay. What just happened? Typhon must not like you. Though I couldn't possibly imagine why. Whenever anyone defies him, that was close. That was close. It, that, that was actually pretty difficult. Responsibility as and part of it's just like on me because <laughs> my reaction share. timing is not so very fast. So the warriors fast, that but... just appeared wasn't really Achilles? Goodness, no. The true Achilles is far more dashing. <laughs> oh, you're telling me. He's hiding in a lair nearby. <laughs> Please, and Zeus. When he's defeated, his shades will reappear on this part of the island. Is there ever any good news? Well, the sea foam worked and uh, I'm able to move my roots. One of them was All right, so that's the next leg. thing, right? I can't help but the other three raids, though. Heracles, Atalanta, and Odysseus. Ah. Oh, Big heroes. What they say, bad things come in fours. No one says that. No one says that. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> what Tough about crowd. The blocking your essence. It's just that some people I care about have been turned into stone. So I'm quite keen to. No. Nope. No. Oh, rip. Uh, for some reason, that root is still firmly in place. Uh, thank you for your concern. But what matters is I can start delivering apples. All the animals <laughs> Why is the no, no, no. time. Aphrodite's a bit Mr. weird. Dick, thank you kindly for all your help. Many happy returns. But I... <laughs> that was strange. <laughs> I can't keep standing idly by. Sorry, I mean busily preparing anymore. You have to bring Aphrodite back to her beautiful snarky self before I go crazy. By the gods, where did you come from? Behind you? Does it matter? Don't worry about me. Focus on finding another way to shrivel that root. So what? Saltier, more mythical water? Actually, wait. What about Aphrodite's tears? Mm -hmm. Didn't she cry at the death of Adonis? They'd be salty and powerful. <clears throat> you really know your stories, kid. Her tears just might So how work. do we get her tears, right? If you put right? them directly on the root, blocking off her essence. Now where did Typhon hide them? You should search the vaults of Tartarus nearby. There are three crystallized tears. <laughs> three tears, eh? Alright, we have a plan then. Please hurry. Until Aphrodite is back to herself, who will I talk to about whatever this is that you're wearing? What a What's gossip. What's wrong with what I'm wearing? And he's gone. he's gone. What a gossip, guys. <clears throat> anyway, uh, as I was saying, a real heal, nice. As I was saying about like the Pokemon stuff, right? Speed running, right? So, Masingno was a glitch Pokemon that you would occasionally get if you played first generation. And like, he was typically a way for people to dupe items. So what I mean by that is like you could clone items, um, namely like rare candies, master balls, that sort of thing, and get yourself like really powerful in the game. And you could, and, and through the same glitch, you were also able to encounter Pokemon that were over level 100, right? Pokemon over level 100. Um, and then if, you know, you use them in battle, then they just revert to level 100. But it, it was pretty cool that, you know, you were able to mess around with the game in that kind of way. And because of that, 
right? Because of that, that's when I started looking into like Pokemon speedruns because they used that particular bug in order to get the results that they wanted, right? All right hold on, Let, let's let's see what we're doing first. Let's see what we're doing first. And then ever since then, okay, so these are the three areas. Uh, actually, let's go, let's fast travel to Hall of the Dog Gods. But we'll get one of, yeah, we'll get these two and then that one last. Uh, what is this? A real heal. So we defeat Achilles, reach the fallen bird. Okay, okay. Oh, that's cool too. Ah, okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll actually reach the fallen bird first. I like that one. We'll reach the fallen bird. But yeah, I think that was my first experience with speedruns. And then after that, I've always been interested in the concept. Like, I, I recognize that my ability, sure is quiet. my ability at games is not good enough to really warrant, you know, not really warrant, like, being able to speedrun properly. Hold on. Uh, I can craft one. Ooh, health potion. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's it. Oh, that's handy. These attack potions are really handy. Uh, and defense. Okay, two of each. Two of each. Why not? Why not? But yeah. I acknowledge that, like, I'm not good enough at games to really get into it, but I've always been interested by it. And there are a lot of games that I do play that do have, like, you know, relatively notable speedrun communities. And I would like to get into it at some point, you know? I would like to get into it. Uh... Oh, so these are like... Jeez, oh, I'm not really interested in that shit. Uh, let's upgrade our weapons. This is going to be an important one. Let's upgrade. Uh, definitely the axe. Yeah, definitely the axe. And, uh, the arrows I don't really need. The armor would be nice, too. Can I afford both axe and armor? I can. Nice. What about the perk list? Uh... Alright. Ba-boom! Wait, I can't upgrade? Oh, I don't have enough. <laughs> I don't have enough, unfortunately. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Getting a more powerful axe is good enough. There we go. It's not even an axe, it's more like a pointy hammer. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright. So, we're gonna do the side quest with the birds right now. Um, we'll do like the other stuff later. <laughs> I just love, like, the screams of desperation. There we go. Nice. But yeah, like, there, there are a few games where I believe, like, I, like, I can maybe kind of speed run, but we'll see. Ah, missed! Nice. Got him. There we go. I've already gotten horses. I'm not too particularly interested in those. Actually... Can we sneak attack on these guys? Yeah, let's sneak attack. I, I want to get these guys down, but it's like... I know they're very difficult. If you watched last stream, I got absolutely demolished by these things.
Nice. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Please bear with me, friends, while I uh, try and do this. Right? Because these guys are not easy to, to kill. So please bear with me. Would appreciate your patience. Oh, fuck. Nice, okay. These guys were so difficult the last time around. Um, I guess it's just a matter of like positioning and getting getting everything right, but that wasn't too bad. I'd like to think that wasn't too bad, right guys? All right, let's uh let's piss off uh let's piss off uh what's her name? <laughs> uh Aphrodite. And just like demolish all these areas to get these pomegranates. They didn't copy the cooking mechanic from Breath of the Wild. It doesn't look like so. It doesn't look like they have Kenji. Your fight display is no good today and good. What? I like to think it's okay. Like I'm not. I don't pretend that I'm hugely skilled in these sorts of games, but I feel like it's been alright. Okay? Oh boy. Okay, we gotta we gotta get rid of these rage ray bears. <laughs> Good hit. Good hit. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, unfortunately, I tried to like sidestep that one. But I fucked it up. Oh. Trying to like do a little bit better of a job. There we go. <laughs> Look at it as it flies away and disintegrates. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. That went well. That went quite well. All right. Ah, uh, we're now. Through here, through here. Woo! Uh, it looks like going up through there is probably the ideal way. There we go. Nice. All right. Okay, we we can see where we need to go. Oh, ho, ho, nearly fell off. Ah, oh, no! Game! Ah. Okay, so... Your ability to, uh... That's fine. Your ability to, like, control where you go on the updrafts is a bit limited. So I need to do a better job of that. I need to do a little bit of a better job. I need to be able to aim it there. There. Now that's probably good enough to climb up. 
There you go. Because I was facing the wrong direction last time. And then that, that's what screwed me over. But now... What's this? The bird should be in here. So let's help the little birdie. Well, I, I don't know what it is, but... Heh? Oh! So we still need to go a little bit up. Okay. So our destination isn't even here. It's like a little bit up from here. So I guess this statue is just an indication of where to go. And we should be able to climb up to the top though. So we should be fine. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, it's a chicken. Hey there. Chicken love. You're in bad shape. <laughs> Too proud to quit, huh? Well, so am I. Phoenix! <laughs> stay away from that thing! What oh, no. are you doing here? I Why is he like this? Strike. Naturally, I came right away to finish the job. Easy kills are a specialty of mine. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> oh, what a well, cheap I'm shot. saving the bird, and I won't take no for an answer. No, it's a creature of Typhon. Wait, I'm having a vision. You're going to say... But it needs our help. Then I'll say, it's just waiting to kill us as soon as it has a chance. Not a chicken, it's a majestic Hermes, phoenix. Please. I don't, don't think so, JP. I'll tell I don't what think you so. Did. Then I'll say, you if it looks like a chicken and it clucks like a chicken, it's a chicken. You would, so I agree to help you. All the while, looking for an opportunity as soon as you let your guard down to strike. <laughs> what is this guy on about? Well, you got me cornered, kid. For now. Since Typhon brought that thing out of Tartarus, you'll need food from down there to revive it. The same food Hades fed to Persephone. Seeds of the dead. I only know of one on the island. Wow, seeds then of I'm the dead. Then I'm going to get that seed. Sit tight. Me or the bird? Because I don't think that thing can sit. <laughs> okay, so where do we go now? I mean, we can... We, we can also, uh... We can also put this chicken out of its misery, right? Right? Guys? No, I'm not going to. That was an accident. I didn't mean to chuck it so close. <laughs> that was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, okay. So... Somewhere like there? Or maybe just there? It's not gonna have enough enough stamina. So we're gonna have to go down to here. Right. There we go. And then just run up through here. Oh man, this place looks pretty uncomfortable, guys. Uh, I thought they were much bigger, what, the chickens? I mean they're just chickens. It's not uh not anything to, to be concerned about size ones. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait. The fact that- wait. The fact that these guys have, like, special health bars really concerns me. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 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 what a- oh, Okay, okay, okay. I think, uh... Uh... <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. I've learned my lesson, I've learned my lesson, I've learned my lesson. I'm sorry, I think the, uh, I think the chicken... I think the chicken is gonna have to just wait for a little bit, right? Oh, wow. That was pretty tough. That was pretty tough. We can probably sneak past them, though. Right, we can just go up the range there. And not have to deal with them, because... Yeah, they are... They are rather powerful.
Hop, ta ta ta. Hop, ta 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 ta. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. So we can save our poor chicken friend. Oh man, <clears throat> that's so far away. Please don't die, please don't die. Oh, sick. Okay. Don't don't pay attention to what happened to the elk, right? Don't don't pay attention to what happened to the elk, man. It uh it did its best. Alright, we're fine, we're fine. We're able to get get around all of those uh those powerful enemies. Okay. Uh the cooking was the best mechanics in Breath of the Wild. I wonder why they didn't do it. Probably because like the I don't know. Too busy adding towers. <laughs> Too busy adding Ubisoft towers. Hey, proud guy, I've got the seed. Is it not I'm gonna sorry, make it? Kid. Come on, we'll go get some drumsticks. They're on me. Drumsticks? Oh my goodness. Ah! Oh, well, that makes things easy. We got the drumsticks right here. Oh! It revived! Woohoo! You're alive! Hey there, proud fellow. Kind of a stuck up rare breed typhon lit on fire, huh? Yay! We saved if it, you guys. Please, Your Excellency. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? I'm going to name him. Phosphor. After Phosphorus, the morning star. Phosphorus? Phosphor says that he's still weak and needs to regain more strength. He'd oh, like that's to offer cute. to help you on your journey to repay the debt for saving his life. He, uh, <clears throat> also loves the new nickname. <laughs> like, really loves it. Don't you, Phosphor? I told you this was the right decision. <laughs> Helping an <laughs> evil undead bird. <laughs> oh, that's what Brilliant. I was thinking the whole time too, Kenjo. <laughs> I take it all back. You were totally on the money. That beautiful bird is offering to take us to Daedalus's secret treasure room. No Ooh. way. The genius inventor who built this island. The one and only. He says there's a pile of Electrum with my name on it. Oh, yes. There's also a second seed of the dead that can make Phospho stronger than ever. Oh, we Would can get a second one and level it up. Doing good deeds results in good deeds in return. Who would have thought? Is that a trick question? Because the answer is clearly no one. So, there are two clues <laughs> that lead to this treasure nice. room we need to find. And by we, I mean you. One is near the Dracon Bones. The second is near the Aqueduct. Isn't that right? I told you he adores his new nickname, right? I, d I don't trust him. I don't trust Hermes when he says that. But you know what? That's really cool. And that's also really wholesome that we were able to... Uh... Oh, it's a new power. Yeah, you can, you can see there. There's like a new power. Okay, so let's let's take a look at the details, right? Uh, abilities. So now we have abilities. Ooh. I've actually got quite a few points, but here, godly powers. Let's see what this is, right? Phosphor dives towards an enemy and hits three times. He... I guess it's a better... I guess it's better than Shitty Bird. I guess it's a better than Kusotori. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, no, that's cool, though. That's cool. Oh, and then you can use your, uh... You can use your... Qu 
coins of Caron to upgrade all of your stuff. Interesting. That's that's pretty neat. I like that, actually. Though, that said... That said, I think that, um... Like the... Hercules, uh, Heracles, the... the the boulder throwing is pretty cool too. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look at some skills, shall we? So these are axe combos. Oh, 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 oh! I really like this one. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Power spin finisher. These are some good finishes, to be honest. Like, no lie. Yeah, no lie. I really like some of these axe finishes. So I'll take a look at that later. I'll take a look at that later. <gasps> Um, what's the time now? Just give me, give me a second, guys. I want to check, uh, just a little thing. Uh, so just give me a moment. I do want to check something. So, because, I don't know. Like, I feel like, I feel like rescuing Phosphor is a really good moment. Oh, okay. Rescuing Phosphor is like... A really good moment to end the stream on. So I think I may do that here. I may do that here. Um, so I want to thank you all for coming along. Uh, let's let's go ahead and save before we do so. And then I will just finish things up. Because yeah, like the whole thing with the bird is, is a really, really touching and really wholesome moment to, to finish the stream on. And you know, I, I have a lot of fun with this game in general. And I do want to talk about it a little bit more. So, we will talk about it, and I will uh, move over to this point. So I want to thank you guys. <laughs> that is no longer current now. Uh, that's no longer current. Let me get rid of that. All right. I want to thank you guys for coming along. Again, I do appreciate it. I appreciate everybody's presence. Um, you know, I enjoyed having everybody here. Uh, so, I I I'm really, really having fun with uh, Immortals. Phoenix Rising. So, what I think I may do, I will, I will send, I will post, rather, I will post a updated schedule, uh, probably by the end of tonight, uh, on Twitter. So, please look out for it, you know, uh, my Twitter is linked in my about page, and all of that sort of good stuff, I like to shit post there, I, you know, uh, do various things there, but there are a few things I do want to talk about. So, I don't have a schedule for next week planned out yet, but, but, it is highly, highly likely that we will be playing a lot more of uh, Phoenix Rising. So my intent, my intent is to stream, you know, my usual three or four times a week. But maybe, but maybe I will be adding like a Friday stream. Um, and like I'll be exploring the idea of streaming on Friday and Saturday a little bit more. Because I feel like... I feel like that's a pretty big gap in my streaming schedule. And so, what I've been doing so far is that due to time constraints, uh, especially during the week, like sometimes on the weekend, but especially during the week, uh, my streams are a little bit short. And, you know, if, if people aren't around when I start, then it's really difficult to catch the streams because, like, now they only last for, like, two hours or whatever. So, you know, it's like people aren't necessarily catching as much of the streams as I would like, but that's a me problem. Yeah, um, so the idea will be to make some time on Fridays and Saturdays potentially to stream uh, to stream and to stream longer hours. So the streams will be a little bit longer and because those are days that people commonly have free, it will give people an opportunity to catch the stream if they normally don't, right? So please keep an eye on my Twitter and when I post my schedule, I'll let you know, I'll let you guys know what I'm doing. The majority of my streams will be continuing with Phoenix Rising because I'm having a lot of fun with this game. And I will also be doing some Sir Brand as usual. Um, but So my days may change around a little bit, but the hope is that I will stream for longer hours overall. So please look out for that. Um, I do appreciate, you know, you guys uh, being here. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Also, uh, maybe not next week, but at some point, at some point, what I want to start doing is having a dedicated stream once a week towards the tech stuff. And, and I've been trying to do it a little bit with regards to Guild Wars 2 
and Hitman 3, but it hasn't come off the way I really want to. And so what I want to do is I want to have a stream where I'm playing a game for like two hours or something like that. And then I will turn around and then do like a performance review because the whole point of buying the, you know, secondary PC, putting it together, the, the no GPU uh, computer, right? The whole point of putting it together was so that I could investigate on whether it is viable to actually game on it. Because I know that there are a lot of people in the VTuber community, or there are a lot of people in general who want to get into PC gaming but can't afford it due to the expensive price of graphics cards. And so the whole point of getting that secondary system was to explore the idea of whether it's actually viable to get into like low-end 1080p HD uh, PC gaming in 2021. And so I'm going to reorient my streams a little bit more where I can do that. And the way I'm going to do that is through like, we're still going to play games and stuff and I'm still going to like yammer on about random things. But I will have dedicated sections after the gaming part to sort of review how the how the parts performed over the course of the stream and just give like my opinion and give like a mini review as to whether they're good for you know like the average person trying to get into 1080p gaming and that will be the whole point and hopefully we can build up enough content that i can actually make a proper review from it you know i could do like a live stream review going through all the data all the games and that sort of thing we can go through benchmarks and uh and that kind of thing you want to rate my no gpu build yeah sure sure if you, if you link me the details on on twitter or something like that or, or, or on discord or whatever then i'll, I'll definitely I'll, uh, I, I can also review your pcs if you guys are interested in that sort of thing you know if you if you take a picture of the pc and send me a list of the specs we can go over them right we can uh we can do like a jeep like a like a setup review stream as well i think that would be fun uh, if you guys are also interested in that, I'm happy to do something like that because I think that would be interesting. I think that would be interesting. But I would like to set some time to go ahead and do that once a week. So again, this is all contingent on my schedule. So keep in touch with my Twitter where I will post the schedule every week. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that I will stream less days, but the days that I do stream will have more content, if that makes sense. So potentially longer streams, potentially more varied streams. Um, and the idea would be not to overload my own schedule as much, but to make sure that I can stream during times when I know people are free so that I can actually go for longer, right? And, th and that would be the whole idea. And that's what I'm looking to go for. So please look out for that over the next couple of weeks. All right, so now that that's out of the way, I just wanna thank everybody for coming along again from Toru to you. Thank you for coming, guys. Really appreciate your presence. Take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you around next time.